Dating solo in San Jose. Not exactly. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> or has a date on this weekend. Yeah, but is it a date? I mean, it's a date, but it's not a date, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so, here's my bestie. You guys see her Hi. quite a bit. Here's Tanya. Tanya Erickson. And we're walking to go have bagels. Bagels. And they're not gluten free. <laughs> nah. Yeah. Not, not today. Not today. We don't have gluten free al gluten allergies, but <laughs> or maybe we do. Maybe that's what my bloating's been all about all these years. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so we just finished um, the live your the life that you want, as you've probably seen, and I wanted to do a little interview with Tanya because. We have both been on this hero's journey that Elizabeth Gilbert speaks about, where you go through, as Joseph Campbell once said, the dark night of the soul. I think he's the one that said it. I've heard about it. I haven't read it. I don't need to read about the dark night of the soul, guys, because I have been humbled to the bathroom floor so many times that uh, who needs to read about it? <laughs> so. And what it is, is when you make the decision in your life to change the story you tell yourself around your own challenges, where you actually see that whatever occurs is actually here for you, not against. And it's humbling you to, humbling you to trust and surrender to love. That's what it's about. Tanya likes to pay attention to everybody. <laughs> That's one thing that we're, we're really different in that way. <laughs> Tanya notices a lot of things. Yeah, I don't. No, I'm, I'm, I'm with you guys. All the time. <laughs> it's nice. No. So we, we crack up because Oprah, uh, I know a lot of people say this, but we are, our relationship is very much like Oprah and Gail, or at least we tell ourselves that. <laughs> been friends since we were 14 years old. I'm the nice one. We're 44 and she's the nice one. So Oprah was talking about that. That's <laughs> Devin said to her that she's not really all that nice, that she's kind, she's generous and enthusiastic. And anyway, so we've laughed about that because I'm just not, I mean, I'm nice, but I'm not as nice as this girl. This girl is nice, I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> she talks to everybody, not notices everything. Lady. Oh, she's good at directions. So anyway. Um, so this is it. Tell me about your dark night of the soul and what you've been doing. To go through the labor pains because that's the journey is to go through the labor pains and not distract yourself um, from them. To actually feel the pain. To go through the pain and then to let go of the pain. To let go. Otherwise, it's going to go straight to suffering. Avoidance goes straight to suffering. Denial straight to suffering, anxiety, depression, all of it. And it's a choice. It's all a choice. Love's a choice. So go. Oh, my, um, my dark night was so obvious to me. It was a moment in time, an absolute epiphany when I realized, I remember the exact moment when I realized, oh my God, my marriage is over. And it was so dark and We won't so go into details. <laughs> and so deep that <laughs> I literally... No, I will go She's into details. She's too nice. <laughs> Excuse me. I will go into details. Okay. And I will say, it was so dark and so deep that I was vomiting all over the bathroom. She was. You vomiting were. Vomiting all over the bathroom. Thinking it was the flu. It wasn't. And that was my darkest night and my darkest hour. And literally, I, I had... Oh my God. I had the white picket fence. I had the ocean view. I had the stay at home mom. I had the Everyone said, picture. wouldn't it be nice to have a great life like Tanya? Nothing ever seems to go wrong. Everything's her way. Picture perfect. Yeah. And then I realized that it wasn't. And it really wasn't. I wasn't being who I am in the marriage. He wasn't being who he is in the marriage. And everything that I had ever wanted was over. 
And by the way, I hadn't had a job in 10 years. <laughs> so I didn't have a clue what I was gonna do. And there's been a lot of suffering, a ton of pain. With and your suffering. addiction to? Security. 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 What will I do? Will I be okay? Addiction liked, to the I, family unit being together. Well, I really liked the life I was having. I really liked it. It was very comfortable. And yet, neither one of us was happy. And neither one of us was willing to see that we weren't happy until that one dark hour. And I just said, that's it. I'm, I'm done. Can't do this anymore. Never mind that I have a child. So, there's been a lot of pain. There's been... Well, I've the created pain a ton is... of suffering. And... I'm done with suffering that. when you weren't claiming your part when you were when you were blaming oh yeah point when you were him. victim yeah yeah point 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 if they did this they did that and this is not to go eh, 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 and blame yourself this isn't about blaming yourself it's about taking responsibility for your life the only thing that you can actually control Yep. You can't control what other people do. You just can't. Nope. So you began to see, I remember you saw a good friend of ours that said, write a list and what was it? Oh yeah, my sponsor in al -Anon said, write a list of all the pros and cons you see in him. Oh. Everything. Take your time. Come back in two weeks if you want. Take your time. Is this right? Yeah. So I did, I took my time and I thought of every pro and every con about him. And I went back to her and she said, read me your list of pros. And then she said, read me your list of cons. By the way, the cons was a longer list. And, um, and then she said to me, and how many of those things on that list of cons is actually you? And I Whoa. just about fell over in my chair and I said, oh my God, <laughs> it is about me. And that was the day I decided to stop pointing the finger and start looking at myself and changing Freedom! me, changing me. And going uh, on your quest. Of, that was truly heart, the beginning of the Your journey. heart's calling. Yeah. yeah. And you did have the whisper, that gut feeling, that from intuition day from day one. See, a lot of people think it's like, bam, all of a sudden, what happened? Ah, this whisper just gets louder and louder. We both had it. You had it. Nice. Oh, yeah. Just louder and louder until, until it's a bam. It's a bam over Can't the head. Ignore it. And it's done. Can't ignore it. And that is where you take responsibility for everything because you're like, I knew all along I was just ignoring my heart. Yep. And so now that you have you're beginning not beginning oh my gosh you've been doing this now for three years taking responsibility you're dating solo and you really are four four years sorry and you really are doing what in dating solo <sighs> being who i want to see being who i want to date truly i really am I'm, I'm starting to change that about me finally starting to change that about me so what's one thing you've been doing? Not being a hammerhead mm -hmm. to myself. Mm -hmm. being more I still with catch yourself. myself doing it. And when I catch myself, when I notice it, when I recognize it, then I go, you don't, gentle, gentle time. Just and when that mind myself. chatter goes, it's shh. Mm -hmm. Just shh. 